So what we're going to do today is we're going to start installing a V5 permanent anchor. Our client in this job uh, is going to have us reflash this chimney and needs it and they've got a couple leaks around the chimney. We work with some pretty nice safety conscious clients. Um, chimneys need a lot of work so we go back and it's a really good place for a permanent anchor. So this is the V5. Uh, that's going to go on today. We have a checklist that I'll go over in other segments of the video so nobody misses anything. So we're going to go pull some slate. Uh, we're going to put this in and we're also going to uh, install our flashing plate which has a bronze cap which will come off and the anchor will stick right through this flashing plate. So the first the first item on the checklist is you've got to find a good place for the anchor. Where we like to put it, since we're gonna be working on this chimney, I want to put it about four feet to the left of the chimney. And I want to put the anchor 18 inches to 24 inches down. I'm gonna shoot for 18 inches. But on a slate job, if I get any closer than that to the ridge, you get into all the ridge slate or the ridge caps and it just gets to be messy. So we're going to go up now and pull some slate and try and find the rafter. So we're up on the roof. We're going to put in a V5 anchor. Um, you can see, take a look at the chimney. You can see, of course, the chimney's been mucked up a bit. So I went in the attic. I uh, looked at the roof rafters. Um, they're two by eight rafters. I'm, I'm trying to reduce the number of trips I have. So I measured inside the attic how far to the roof rafter from the chimney at a good reference point. So I found 45 and a half inches is, is one, 60 inches was the other. I really wanted to put it on the one that was 60 inches, but then on closer inspection, and you'll see in the attic in a little bit, there's a crack in the bottom of that rafter. So we're gonna go to the one that's 45 and a half. So I'm gonna measure um, about 45 and a half off of that chimney. And that is, that is right here. So I probably have a rafter underneath right here. Where I'd like the V5 to be actually is right underneath the center of a slate. This anchor plate would wind up being pretty much right, the slate would be right over top of that. That's an ideal location. So, what I need to do is I need to pull this slate and a few more slate, expose the roof sheathing, and then we can find the exact right placement. But ideally, I'd like it to be right there. But I might wind up putting it right here. I might drop down and put it right here. right here I know that there's gonna be a rafter right here uh, it wasn't 45 it looks like it looks like it's 41 and a half so the ideal place for me to put my anchor is actually gonna be right here right underneath this slate when this one the, this one will go back in so I'm gonna pull this slate and this slate and uh, then we're gonna drill our hole for our anchor
So I've got a 13 30 seconds drill bit. I can see where the edge of my rafter is. I know that I want it in line with this, the top of my anchor in line with this. So I'm gonna drill out some holes from here, three inches down to here. First, the first one actually is actually right in line with the edge of that board. And I marked three inches on the shim, which is right there. So the next one will be in line with here. When I was in the attic looking at these rafters, I looked for electrical. There's, there's no electrical, there's nothing in the way. series of 13 30 seconds holes which is just bigger than three eighths or you can use a half inch holes to make a slot three inches long um, usually we do this from the attic but if I can see the rafter and I know the attic is clear then, then I can drill up here and not get sawdust in my eyes um, so anyway that's that's what I did now we've got to determine uh, how much the anchor to stick through and so in this plate this slate is going to go on, it's going to be a short slate, or it could be notched, but it's going to stop just shy of this anchor. This slate will go down, this slate will go down, this, this will go right on top of this slate, and it will go right here, in this plane. So what I'm going to do now with my shim, is I'm going to just go down to the roof line, the roof seating, and determine that's how much right there. Notch. Note to self, bring pen. So, from the roof sheathing to the top of this is that distance. Next, we go inside. 